The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. I still know it's not the thing that I am dying to do. You still might have got six more times. <laughs> if you don't have the right attitude, it can be very frustrating at times. We're here, guys. We're going to talk to 1,600 young people. The anxiety kicks in, you forget what you're going to say again. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. The Motivational Missionaries Tour of Belize 2015. Chalk Creek is an eco-friendly resort located in the Cayo district of Belize. My goodness, you wanna talk about gorgeous? This is a place that's a must see during your lifetime. This year, we're so fortunate to be able to stay at the spa villa and waking up every morning to the views that you were able to see there was breathtaking. Exactly where I'm I had a massage downstairs in this area, facing that way as a massage. Mm -hmm. I just need to change and I'll be comfortable. Yeah, once you shower. Oh, I'm coming out here to read. One of the absolute must do's when you go to Belize is go hit a river in a canoe with your family. You want to talk about having a good time in nature? <laughs> That's the way to go. We had woke up early to go to a Mayan ruin site and we started doing the hike. This is Yoda. Yeah. We went to Zunan Tunage. And this little area right here is specifically created so that people can stand over there so that they can have speeches here and they can talk to everybody in this little plaza. Just once you kind of walk up to it, it's just it's a lot crazier in person than it is like through pictures. From the top of Zunan Tunage, you can actually see a couple of the surrounding countries. And then also at the time that we were up there, you can actually see the rainstorm that was like heading towards our direction. And you start feeling the winds pick up right away because you're above the tree line. I'm kind of a tall person and those steps, I had to like really reach for them. LJ was perfect height. He slipped and right when he slipped and dropped down a step, he's so short, his ass landed on the seat before his feet touched the ground. Oh, I just wanted to take a seat to you guys real quick. <laughs> kind of makes you wonder how tall were they? We are going to Black Rock, but it seems like we're like in the middle of no. Oh my God, this is beautiful. On one of our days off, we actually got to go into the Cayo district into an eco-friendly resort called Black Rock. And just the scenery on the way there and... Oh. Hi, dear! Oh. There was the cows and the trees and the farms. It was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> with magnificent views. It's got a huge mountain that's really, looks like it's cut in half, and you can see that it's actually black, which that's where they get the name Black Rock from. And LJ even got to film a white hawk, which apparently is very rare. So we finally got to go to Caves Branch this year, which was really cool. It's an awesome resort in the jungle. Welcome. Hi, nice to meet you. Full power. Welcome to Caves Branch, everyone. Hi. Hi, Eden. I'm Alexa. Alexa, no, no, but I, I'll shake your hand, but girl, I want to hug you. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. Oh, look at that nice cold towel around your neck. Oh my gosh, they have such a beautiful orchid garden and they just really take you through this fabulous tour of all what the plants mean and where they originate and how they collect them and how they research them and how they document them. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous tour. And then there was the nighttime in the jungle. <laughs> 
and Valerie had stayed in, in our room that night because Bert didn't want, want her walking through the jungle by herself at night because we we're working uh, for our presentation the next morning. She was like, well, I want to sleep in my room. He's like, no, because there's no radios, there's no telephones, there's no way I know if you're safe in the room. And we had an extra bed in our room. So she came and she stayed on the top bunk and I stayed on the bottom bunk. Two o'clock in the morning, I wake up and I hear this noise and I'm like, Valerie, did you hear that? And I hear no response. Bert passed out. Of Val's passed out, and all of a sudden I hear it again. I'm like, Val! And I start banging on the, <laughs> the bunk bed. I'm like, Val, did you hear that? She's like, Oh my god, yes, what is that? I'm like, I don't know. And they would make the sound that sounded like they were part of Jurassic World. <laughs> so Bert runs over to the window, starts grabbing a flashlight, trying to look, and hears this horrible noise coming from outside our window, and we're like, Looking around like, where can we hide? There's no place to hide. Probably is the howler monkeys though. Remember how the guy was telling Bert and I that they used the sound for Jurassic Park? Tell me that doesn't sound like Jurassic Park. After about 30 minutes of sheer terror, I don't know where I got the crazy idea, but I started howling. <laughs> and I just kept howling. And after about the third or fourth howl, the monkey stopped but they weren't really happy about it. They decided to start jumping on the roof. <laughs> they had the howler monkeys and the howler monkeys would actually come out at night. When we told them what had happened to us, they said, wow, you were so fortunate because people love to hear the sound of the monkeys and most of the times they don't get to hear it. Yeah, if you want to call it fortunate, <laughs> let me tell you something, it was an experience. In the entirety of Belize, you never know who you're gonna walk into. In fact, before leaving San Ignacio, we saw the mayor, Mayor Trapp. It's not like a, oh, you know, I can't talk to him. No, it's everyone's easy to talk to no matter where they are. And anyone from politicians to celebrities, you really don't know who you're gonna bump into. During our tours, we get a lot of car time. When I get behind the driver's seat, we jam out. When driving through the countryside in Belize, one must always take their music with them. If you want to have a fun time when you're on a road trip, Music is a must-have. West Philadelphia, born and raised on a playground is where I spent most of my days. Man, people thought we were crazy. But you guys know what I believe when it comes to crazy people. Radisson is one of our best sponsors. And so one of the things that we always do for them is we always do an event for their staff. I'm going to give you the tools that I use. And I use tools today. The same tools that I use there, I use them now because they work. This year was, I think, our third year doing an event for their staff. And it's fun because this year, of course, we had to change it up a little bit, give them some different information than they've gotten before. This is the recipe that takes about 12 years of psychology to figure out, and I broke it down so people can take it home and start paying attention how they've been using this recipe in their life. So this year, we focus more on conditioning your mind and conditioning their staff to being more productive and more effective in their daily lives and their professional lives. Now, let me tell you how this works. It's all about being able to work with each other and using the right energy. So I want you to think, and this is not something you can share, you don't have to share. Whatever has been holding you back for a long time, this is it. Whether it's today, last week, a year ago. Yeah, go, go, like that, push, push, push. and that's when I opened my eyes and I saw his determination. And that's when I stepped forward, but I didn't know, I didn't remember that until he just started speaking. You see that? Yes. That's powerful stuff. And that's how we work as a team. Thank you very much. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next year. Celebrate. So we finally came to our last event. And after speaking for the, la for the couple events before that, we kind of got excited and pumped for the very last one because we wanted to give it our all. It was nothing like I expected. They had been there previously. And we were all really excited because a couple of years ago, Orange Walk was one of the best events. The kids were excited. The kids were energetic. The energy in the room was amazing. It was palpable. You could feel it. Orange Walk, today's our official last day uh, for the tour for the kids. 
Every event comes with its set of surprises. And this year was no exception. It wasn't really the response we were hoping for. Nobody could really hear us, so they couldn't get into it. You were on stage thinking you were doing great, but nobody could hear you. So it was just very, very difficult event. And they challenged every skill we possibly had, and every team member was really uncomfortable. But it didn't matter. Bert took the microphone, and he really encouraged a lot of the kids to run up to the front, those that really wanted to get engaged and participate and have the experience. And we're there in every event for those people that want to have the experience, that want to learn the techniques that we're teaching them, and that want to change their lives for the better. One, it reminds us that regardless of how great you're doing, you're always gonna hit some kind of roadblock. And it's important to not let those roadblocks keep you from accomplishing your goals and accomplishing your mission and staying true to what you believe. My mind has changed. It's allowed me not to be so afraid of things when you don't really know what's going to happen. Lessons they, they have learned from Bert and his team will remain at them for as long as they live. To follow their dreams and never to give up and believe in themselves. They learned a lot and when we go back, and it's amazing when a teacher comes to you and tells you, wow, thank you for what it is that you're doing. And they actually come and tell me how much they've learned at the event. It's such a great experience and I'm really humbled by it every single year. To learn how you can support the Motivational Missionaries, visit our website and connect with us on your favorite social media. I'm Bert Oliva from Bold Worlds. Welcome to the Family Show. And what I Psst. Hey. what? Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you talk to yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment, subscribe, forward, repost, do whatever it is that you're gonna do to make sure no one misses this show. But do it now. Do do what are you waiting for? Do it now.